Oh, hi guys. Um, welcome to this exciting episode. Well, today I'm going to teach you how to draw an assembly drawing of a square bolt, square knot, and washer. So we're drawing basically these three things on assembly drawing. So guys, join me while we go drawing. So with our given parameters, we have that diameter is equal to 18, thickness is 0.8D, solve it and then find your answer. Width is equal to 1.5D plus 3. Then the length of thread is equal to 2D plus 10. Then you solve and get your answer. Theta, my it's the radius 2D. And then the length of both 124. Not is automatically the same thing with that of both. Then for the washer, length of washer, 2D plus 4. Okay. The length of the thickness of the washer is 0.125D. So with the width, which is 30, to construct a square. So I'm actually constructing a square with length of 30. That was the width from the calculation. Well, if you want to learn to construct a square, you can check on the description part of this video. I will leave a link there. You can click and watch. So uh, my square is almost finished. Okay, now it's finished. Now I also draw two diagonals. I need to get the center on the midpoint of the square. All right. So I'm going to get my compass, pin at the center, okay, and I get to one vertex of the square. That's it. Yes, there. And then I will draw a perfect circle. This, and this circle should pass through all the vertex. It should touch all the vertex, okay? And once I move my hand, you see how clear and perfect it looks. Okay, now my circle pass through all the vertex. So with this, I'm going to do some elongation. Put my metal rod here with my 90 degrees set square. Okay, I have to elongate the upper part of the square. I also do the same thing too for the middle part. Okay, and the down part and then the middle part. Yes, that's it. Okay, so I have to actually have to move a little distance, a reasonable distance from the square, not too much, please. And then draw it straight. Then with our thickness, which was given as 40 millimeter, okay, I'll measure it starting from that line I drew. 14. Okay, that's 14. Then I'll with my set square, carry it up. Tick, please. Now remember that from the parameter, our radius is 32. So with my compass, okay, that's a millimeter. So with my compass, I'll measure 32 millimeters on my compass. 32. Okay, and then I'll pin here, cut on the center line, cut in there, okay, and then I'll pin on where I cut and then draw that arc. Just make sure this arc is very thick, please. Very important. All right, then I'll finish up the drawing by taking this to that part soon. Okay, having the remember diameter is 18. So if I, if I divide it by 2, I'm going to have like 9. That is 0.9 cm. So I'll be going from the center point 0.9 up and 0.9 down to give it that length of 18. Okay, then I'll elongate. Alright. So having done that. And the question the length of both 46 so i meant to say 120 not from the head actually from this part of the boat i'm going to measure 120 my meter rule as 120 and then i'll just take it up not thorough through the diagram just through the stem of the boat's part okay that's it so just there now what we're going to do next we're going to look at the threaded portion of this boat then the portion that's 46 millimeter so not from the front please from the back from that last line so i'm measuring 46 from the back please 46 and then i'll take it up tick now taking this other part now this part i'm taking now will be the untreaded portion the part that will not contain a thread now i want to start adding my complements so record complements or my components so i'll move a reasonable distance from that length of straight portion i drew just a little maybe 0.5 and then draw a straight line this line now serves as 
our washer line our length of washer is 40 divided by 2 to give you accuracy that is 20 so from the center now of that line that i just drew i'm going 20 up 20 down to give me total length of washer as 40 20 up and 20 down the length of 40 okay remember our washer thickness is 2 that is 0 0.2 cm okay so i'm going 0 0.2 and 0 0.2 then I will complete the diagram okay so having done that let me start adding our knots because everything we did at the boot head side we're also adding to the knot so knot thickness is 14 remember we're assembling a washer and a knot to this boot according to what the question gives us So everything I actually did at this head of the boat, I want to do this for this knot part. Now remember, this is actually a solution to last year engineering drawing past question for engineering students and food science students here in University of University. So please endeavor to make use of this video and subscribe to my channel. If you have questions, drop in the comment section of this video and please, if you, if you find this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, guys, like the video. It helps in the YouTube algorithm. So having drawn the boat, I'm actually going to shred this mini portion. Before I do that, I actually had to measure 9. Remember, the diameter was 18, so I have it 9 to draw the circle at up. So here now, I'm going to put a thread. I actually put a thread on this. If you want to put a thread, check on the description part of this video. I'll leave a link there. You can learn how to draw a thread on a boat. So I actually threaded that portion. Now, I actually took the diameter, which is 18, on the ruler and then did that. Then pinned here and. Okay. And remember, we are asked to draw the three views. This we only drew the front view and the side view. Let's draw the top view or what we call the plan. Let's draw the plan. I'll definitely put my ruler and my 45 degrees set square. 45, please, not 60, please, 45 degrees and draw that angle. And now I'll do my elongation downwards. Please make sure that all the elongations are straight to um, increase accuracy. Having done that, I'm also elongating the side view there to the start square part. Then bring it towards the plan part of it. I also do that for the middle point too. So I'm actually repeating what I did at that top part, repeating this part. So I'm actually using the radius and then I'll do the same thing, do likewise too. Everything I did up, I'm raising it down. There is no much difference on it. No difference at all. It's a top view. It's when it's hexagonal like that's kind of more different, but for the square, it's the same thing. So while this is drawing, I can actually chat with you. So in case actually having any difficulty in engineering drawing you can look at my number at the top part of this video it's actually a whatsapp line and a call line but i actually appreciate if you give me a whatsapp missing it's actually a call because i received too much of call this period okay so i'm doing this because i'm using diameter 18 so i have it went 99 and then mm -hmm. everything i did up i'm using it down basically no much difference And very important, why are you also watching this video? Please, I want you to keep something in the comment section of this video. Tell me where you're actually viewing from. If you're viewing from Nigeria, that's or from my school, I rest you. How many quarter of the world? Just tell me where you're viewing from. Uh, also, remember, please, why join? Make sure your work is always in it. Use thin line when you're supposed to use thin line, and thin line when you're supposed to use thick line. Because accuracy and it's sort of work actually what gives you the full correct and the full mark. Most of the time, you see, man, sure gets the parameters correctly, but because your work is beautiful and neat and sharp, 
lecturer can award you the full mark. So I'm basically doing the notes for this part two and that's it. I'm going along with it. So guys, we're actually almost done. No, not too much talk, not too much busy. We're almost done. I also want ideas from you guys because I'm actually running out of ideas in twenty content. So I actually want you to tell me which video, what topic, give me a question. I have a WhatsApp number on the screen. Tell me what you want me to, to actually analyze and or resolve or solve and then drop on YouTube for you. I can actually tag you on that video if you do so. Okay, so if you have a question or any question on engineering drawing, technical drawing, but then you put in the comment section of this video or text me on WhatsApp, drop a question for me and then I'll solve it and upload on YouTube so you can actually watch because we are we are both learning so we can all that together. So I'll also try this part of it too. So I'm done trading. Thank you guys for watching today's video. Enable to like, subscribe, comment, and share this video. Bye for now.